stars in their eyes, kids. Please welcome your host, Cat Dealey. to a brand new series of Stars in Their Eyes Kids with brand new talent taking on these world famous glittering doors. Now over the next eight weeks you'll hear star guests who are all 16 and under but as always it's about putting on the clubber and the voices of the world's greatest pop stars and in this series we found sound alikes who've never walked through those doors ever before like for instance Miss Dynamite, Daniel Bedingfield and even Usher. Now for the very first time, you at home can have your say. Once our audience here in the studio have chosen their favourite star guest, we'll open the phone lines and you can vote or text for any one of the other four. The star guest that you've given the most votes to by the end of the series will go through to the live grand final in May. So listen carefully, because now you have to choose a finalist too. Here's one of the kids that sadly didn't make it. But yes, thank you. All right, enough of me now. Let's bring our first voice through those doors and into the spotlight. This is star guest number one. When I started singing, I was about three years old, and my first song was Gabrielle, Dreams Can Come True. I come here at the riding stables um, to help out with the horses, like muck them out, groom them. I've got my grooming kit. Well, this is Mystery, and I'm actually grooming him, so he's got a nice coat to ride. Hi, this is my little sister, Chelsea. She's six years old, and she's been coming down to the stables with me. When I'm big, I want to be a jockey. This is my nan and my granddad. Hi. When I'm older, I'd like to be a professional singer. If I don't become that, I'd probably like to become a lawyer. My friends would describe me as a very chatterbox sort of person and a very bubbly sort of girl. My favourite animals are horses and dogs and kittens. My five favourite things are M&M, dancing, singing, helping up at the riding stables and rap. I've watched Stars and Eyes for a long time now. I think it's just amazing that I'm coming through those smoky doors with somebody else. Good luck on the show, Ayla. Get dancing around your living room. Here is Ayla Pope. Very good. You've been brought up very nicely. She asked me how I was then and everything. Now tell us, has your sister's teeth grown through yet? Well, lately we've been to the dentist and we find out she's actually had one of her baby teeth out. So hopefully it will grow back OK. OK, but how long have they been like that for? Oh, I don't know. Quite a long time. I've lost count. We'll keep our fingers crossed that they grow back through. Yeah. Now tell me, if you could be anybody in the world, pop star-wise, who would you be? It would have to be Britney Spears, I think. Now, how d did you become the person that you're going to be tonight? Well, what I was happened? actually um, listening to the radio and singing along, right. and my mum came into the kitchen and said, is that you singing, Ayla? And I was like, yeah, and she was gobbledsmacked, and she said, I think, I think that's, you should enter Stars in the Rise because you sound like that person. OK, so mum kind of got you here. Yeah. OK, and why did you choose this person? Because if I, if I was choosing this person, I'd go for her because of the glittery eyeshadow and the lovely shoes and the nice frock. Well, she's actually very well known for her green, glittery eyeshadow, but um, it's her voice and she's um, never actually been performed on this stage or on Stars and Rise before, so she's different. OK, there's been a few clues there, but give us a few more. Well, originally she was the lead singer of a band called The Audience. Yes. Her mum was the presenter of a show called Blue Peter. Right, got you. And she beat Posh Spice to number one with a hit called Groove Jet. OK, I think I know who it is, but come on, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Sophie Ellis Bexter. Sophie Ellis Bexter. Good luck. Knock and dead. Off you go. Tonight, singing live, Ayla 
the proof is Sophie Ellis Baxter. Satisfied smile. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> oh, 100%. Oh, 100%. And you managed to do all the dance moves in those. Show everybody these shoes. They were almost as high as mine, those ones. And you managed to do all the moves and everything. Now, if you carry on like that, I reckon Justin and Eminem will be phoning up on the phone to do a bit of a duet. My dream. <laughs> Your dream. <laughs> Would that be ideally what you'd like to do for your pop star? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Well, fingers crossed for you. Ladies and gentlemen, Ayla Pope as Sophie Ellis Baxter. <laughs> Either, but here's a quick clue to our next singer. Back in the 70s, this superstar, along with her brother, made it into the charts big time. Find out who she is in just a moment. <laughs> Hello there, welcome back to Stars in Their Eyes Kids, where our 16s and unders are giving the grown-ups a lesson or two in fantastic pop. And that's the best description of our next star to come walking through those doors. She was one of the 70s biggest acts and her songs are still played on the radio every day. So here to take on a truly legendary voice is star guest number two. When I found out that I'd been accepted on the show, I screened down that phone and I think I actually deafened the person. You're on the show? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> When I told my friends I was on Stars New Eyes, I think they actually jumped through the roof. 
because they were so excited. They were like, oh my God, my friend's gonna be on TV. They were so supportive of me. They were like, go on, you get them, girl. And it's unbelievable how friends can be like that because I know that, that Kira and Katie are gonna be my friends forever. I've known Tasha since I was two years old. She's got an excellent voice and I'm so proud of her. Uh, have you got that album? Yeah, I've got this, it's really good. You should get it. I've always wanted to be on the show because I've wanted to walk through the doors through the smoke and I've wanted to become who I who I who I'm going to be. My favourite kind of music is pop, hip-hop, but most of all songs from musicals. I've always wanted to be in Stars in Their Eyes, kids, because when I was little I used to watch the grown-ups doing it and I said, well, why can't they have a kids one? And there was. I look gorgeous. Can you tell the difference? to a time 20 years before she was born. Here's Natasha Bennett. <laughs> I don't know what it is about all these girls. They all love them, you know. All bad boys. Nelly, how are you this evening? I'm fine, thank you. Now, I know that you have a whole selection of heroes, don't you? Yes. Run me through them. Christy Aguilera, Whitney Houston, and the person I'm being tonight. But I must admit, my true hero is Eeyore. What, Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. OK, well, that's something a bit different. That's a bit different. <laughs> now, tell me, the person that you're going to be doing tonight, she was kind of around almost 30 years ago. Yeah. So how did you come to sing like her? Well, um, her CD was, the act was actually the first one I ever bought. Right. But I couldn't really do it because I was only six years old. I gave it to my uncle, and at 10 years old, he gave it me back and I could do it. And when I showed my auntie, she said I really sounded like her. OK, give us a few clues as to who you're going to be. Well, she was one half of the biggest brother-sister duo of her time. Right. She was a drummer as well as a singer, mm -hmm. and they had seven top ten UK hits, including Top of the World and the one I'm going to be singing tonight. OK, so come on then, Natasha, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Karen Carpenter. <laughs> Karen Carpenter, good luck! Good luck, my sweetheart. Tonight, singing live, Natasha Bennett is Karen Carpenter. We've only just begun to let Much of life 
for him. We'll find a place where there's room to grow. And yes, we've just How cool, calm, and collected you are. There's not a nerve there, is there? No. Show me your hands. Absolutely still as anything. Now, I know that you'd like to be in musicals, is that true? Yes. What would be your dream part? I want to be Eponine in Les Mis. Well, hopefully, that phone might, might start ringing. So, what's been the best thing for you about coming on Stars in the Rice? Um, just coming out the smoke and being who I'm going to, um, who I am. Really? Who I am now. Who you are. You believe it that much? Yeah. Who I am. Oh. Well, she's one of my idols. She's one of the person I look up to. So you've enjoyed every yeah. minute? Good. Ladies and gentlemen, Natasha Bennett as Karen Carpenter. <laughs> well done. <laughs> OK, boys, I know so far it's been a bit of a girls' night in here on Stars in the Rise. Sophie Ellis-Bexter and Karen Carpenter have both sung for a chance to do it all again in the live grand final. But where are the lads, eh? Where are the lads, girls? That's what we want to know. Well, here they come. Four boys who are about to shake the world, and that's a big clue to the mystery identities of star guests number three. We've all been mates now for about five years, and Liverpool's just the best place to be, isn't it, lads? Yes! We all go to St Bede's High School in Ormskirk. We've been friends since um, pretty much we came to the school about four or five years ago. Yeah, we started playing in the band about eight months ago probably and we practice about twice a week, don't we? Liverpool, it's just a fantastic city. It's just the humour, everyone's really funny. I think Beyond Stars and I has brought us closer together, not only as a band but as a, as a group really, as a group of friends. I don't think it'll actually sink in until we get dressed up as our idols. Really looking forward to in the weeks as well. It'll just be brilliant. We've been in the spam for about um, ten months now. I play guitar. I play the bass. I also play guitar. And I'm the drummer. <laughs> just dream about it being on telly. Just dream about walking through the smoke at the start and smiling and waving like that. But all the cheesy waves. Oh, the cheesy smiles and yeah. that. But oh, it's just, what are you going to wave like like that? I'll wave like that. <laughs> <laughs> Jay will just have a thumbs up. It's going to be good, but it's still going to be nerve-wracking as well. Can we do it, lads? Yes! yes. <laughs> oh, the lovely lads. Four Liverpool lads, but well, who could they be? Let's ask Andrew Brown, James Smith, John Birch and Paul Jones. <laughs> How are you? Good. Now, have you decided on the wave you're going to do this evening? Yeah, I think I'll go for a casual yeah. wave. Yeah. 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 Go for I'll a go for a cheesy one. Yeah. Yeah. Get you and your waving fingers. <laughs> now, listen, tell me what happened during the filming of that video. We were filming at the Albert Dock and um, there was a school trip of girls there and we kind of got swamped by them. You got swamped by girls? It's yes. hard life, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's hard and life. Everything. And so did they ask for autographs and stuff? Yeah. 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 So you signed autographs and yeah. everything? Yeah. Wow. Can I just say you look absolutely stunning tonight? Oh. Don't you look absolutely oh. stunning, ladies and gentlemen? Oh. Oh. But listen, before we go any further, uh, now Liverpool, we know you're from Liverpool, that's a big clue, but give us some more clues. Well, uh, they started in 1957 yes. and they split up in 1970. Come on, Romeo, right. tell us yours. <laughs> um, they had 17 number ones and they were in the chart for 500 weeks. OK. Sold an approximate one billion record. A billion records, billion records. OK. And the last public performance was on the top of the EMI buildings in Savile Row. Right. OK, well, put us out of misery, then. Who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Cap, we're going to be... The, the Beatles. Beatles! The Beatles! <laughs> and I get to kiss all four of you. The last time I did this, it was blue. Go on, off you go. Good luck. Tonight, singing live, Andrew, James, John and Paul are the Beatles!
these screaming girls at the front here? Marvellous, isn't it? Cannot be. <laughs> it's, a, it's not that being a pop star, is it? It's all right. Definitely. And how about you flicking your head around? I thought your wig was going to come off so at one I. point. <laughs> and I have to say, you look so smart. Ladies and gentlemen, John, Paul, Andrew and James as the Beatles! <laughs> Now, this show isn't just entertaining, it's educational too, because you're about to hear an entire classic novel in just three minutes. You might think that that's impossible, but not in the hands of our next superstar. Any ideas who she may be? Looking back at me blankly there, blank. <laughs> well, we'll find out in just a minute. Bye-bye. <laughs> Stars in their eyes where 16s and unders are putting on the voices and styles of some of the greatest pop stars on the planet. Now, before the break, I told you we're about to hear an entire novel in just a few minutes. Here comes a complete book in music from star guest number four. When I got the phone call to be on the show, I was over the moon. I was jumping for joy and I just couldn't believe it. I was just so excited. I did a show in my school last Christmas and I was I was the person I'm going to be tonight and uh, after I did the show I won it and I was so excited and I thought yeah I'll, I'll go for the real thing. I've been playing guitar for about four years now and I really enjoy it. I get lessons at school and I also play in a Kaylee band and it's really fun. I live in Barhead with my mum, my dad, my big sister Laura and my wee brother Adam. And we are known as the Barhead Zoo because we have 10 pets. Ooh. One of the things I really like is friends. And as you can see, I've got them all splattered all over my wall. They're great actors and they've all got a bit of life in them. I come here every Thursday night to the Boys Brigade where they do drill and classes. It's a lot of fun. I've been here for three years and the boys are really, really nice. This is my wee brother Adam and he has been in the Boys Brigade for eight years. And this is my sister, and she's very nice. We we'll get to know her. OK, get ready for a classic, literally, with Jacqueline Bell. Hi, Good, I'm very good. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm so excited, I'm really, really nervous. Is, so it, excited. is it just kind of excitement more than yeah. nerves, or a little bit of nerves? Oh, so much more excitement. It's just all came in. A winner now, and you're like, ooh! Fantastic. <laughs> you did tell me a little bit earlier that your mum and dad are very, very nervous for mm. you. Is that right? Mm -hmm. What do you think they're going to do tonight? Oh, I'm just hoping that the seat belts are on the seats, you know, because <laughs> they'll, they'll jump up. <laughs> do you think there might be a bit of jumping up and cheering? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> OK, and how about a tear? Do you think a tear might be shed? If it's not already there already, then yeah. Oh, <laughs> OK. Well, tell me, why have you chosen to be this person? Well, I first saw this person on a, a music video mm. on the TV, and I was gobsmacked. I thought, whoa. Well, oh, is she for real? Because it was just so, so different. But I thought, yeah. And then my mum got all the albums out, of course, and it was, I'm a fan, Jacqueline. <laughs> so your mum was a fan, and have yes. you been practising at home in the mirror? Yes. A little bit. <laughs> I tend if you're not truthful. To. <laughs> if you're truthful, you've been practising oh, yeah, a little definitely. bit. Okay, Probably well, um, give us a few more clues as to who you're going to be. Okay. She's the first British female to have a solo number one album in the UK charts. Mm -hmm. She's famous for her main work on stage and her only number one single, and the song I'm singing tonight, was inspired by an Emily Bronte novel. An Emily Bronte novel, OK. So, Jacqueline, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Kate Bush. Kate Bush! <laughs> Not and dead. Tonight, singing live, Jacqueline Bell is Kate Bush. Leave 
Done, Jacqueline. How was that? Oh, that was amazing. Now, I know that really you'd really like to be an actress, wouldn't you? Oh, yes, definitely. But you so had all her facial, <laughs> like her facial movements and everything that you... Teach me one. Okay, hold Give me one. Eyes. <laughs> Is it that one? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why you do it and I don't. All right, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacqueline Bell as Kate Bush. <laughs> well done. Kate Bush smashing up guitars and crowd surfing, but we're about to meet a pop star who does all that and more. If Kate is the SWAT of pop, then this girl's definitely the one getting detention. Put those clues together and you've got the secret musical identity of star guest number five. I was really, really surprised. I was like, wow! I didn't think it'd ever happen to me. The person I'm going to be is my idol, and I think she's so amazing. And these are all my best friends, Hannah, Ollie, Bryony and Sophie. Hi! We just sort of laugh, like, all the time. <laughs> we just find everything funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favourite shops in Chester. It's where I buy all my clothes. What do you think of this one? Yeah, I really yeah, like it. I like the fluff of it. I'm outgoing. I've got quite a sort of mad personality. I'm quite well known for being a bit silly and like I like making people laugh. Kat's great at singing and I hope she does really well. Good luck, Kat. I'm definitely a shopaholic because one thing I really like doing is going shopping with all my friends and um, just trying on different things and messing about. I think that's really nice. <laughs> It's going to be such an amazing experience and I will treasure it for the rest of my life because I'm just going to enjoy it so much and when I walk through the doors I'll be like, oh, wow, and I won't be able to believe it's actually happening. Wish me luck on stars in their eyes. Cheers! OK, here comes the newest voice in rock, thanks to Catherine Hannibal! Another tall bird. Turn around. 
She's 13 and she's taller than me even. <laughs> it's great though to have somebody lovely and tall, which must come in very useful at the gigs that you it go to. Does. Yeah. I used to go to those big old rock gigs Ew. and my dad used to come and pick me up afterwards and we'd get in the car and it would all steam up and everything because we'd be mushing so much yeah. and be hurt, so hot and sweaty. Do you do the same? Exactly the same, yeah. Right, so ideally, what would you like to do after you finish school and all that kind of stuff? I want to front a band like Gwen Stefani sort of thing, like have a band behind me. And so sing. you want to be a proper rock chick yeah. with the whole band behind you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Give us a few clues as to who you're going to be tonight. All right, well, she's 18 years old yes. and she's from Ontario in Canada and this year she was nominated for two Brit Awards and five Grammys and she recently performed at the Brit Awards with 21 drummers. 21 drummers? 21. Okay, <laughs> I think I know who it is but come on Catherine tell us who are you going to be tonight? Tonight Kat I'm going to be Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne, good luck you. I'm going to give you a kiss. Go on, off you go. Tonight singing live Catherine Hannibal is Avril Lavigne. stomping around yeah. <laughs> you gave it full-on rock chick there what was it like to be Avril Lavigne for a three oh, and a bit minutes like a dream <laughs> was it yeah. and does it make you want to do it even more after yeah. you finish school and stuff yeah definitely. so basically if there's anybody at home who plays guitar and drums and yeah. bass around about yeah. the Chester area yeah she's your lady yeah. she's your lady <laughs> so, so what's it been like being on Stars in the Eyes oh it's been one of the best experiences of my life. I really, really enjoyed myself. I just thought, I am Avril, I'm going to do it, and I got aggressive. <laughs> she got aggressive. <laughs> she got aggressive. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Catherine Hannibal as Avril Lavigne. Well done. Five star guest 
after tonight, all done and dusted. Sophie Ellis-Bexter, Karen Carpenter, The Beatles, Kate Bush and Avril Lavigne have taken the stage and risen to the challenge. Don't you agree? Really have. Really have. Now, our audience are about to choose their favourite for the live grand final and then you'll have a chance to do the same. So, see you in a bit. kids giving 16s and unders a chance to become pop stars. Now, we've heard all five of our fantastic young acts and now it's almost time for our audience to give one of them a return ticket to the live grand final. But remember, you at home will have your chance to vote too. Before our studio audience make up their minds, let's hear those voices and see those performances one more time. First, Ayla Pope got the dance floor jumping as Sophie Ellis Bexter. Natasha Bennett gave us the voice we'll never forget, Karen Carpenter. Andrew, James, John, and Paul got their tops mopped as the Beatles. Jacqueline Bell was deep in the music library as Kate Bush. And Catherine Hannibal rocked the doors to their very hinges as Avril Lavigne. OK, the pressure's on. Here comes the really difficult bit. You have to choose the best sound alike, the one that you thought sounded most like the real thing. It's in your hands. So everyone, please cast your votes now. Okay, our audience have chosen their winner. Is it Sophie Ellis Bexton? Karen Carpenter? The Beatles, Kate Bush, or Avril Lavigne. Tonight's winner is Kate Bush. Over there, how are, are you feeling? Very proud over there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sister crying. Oh, sister crying as well. So, how's the whole experience been for you? <laughs> um, oh, it's been great. I'm just oh, speechless. Oh no, please here. don't. <laughs> how's it been? It's been amazing. It's just been so. Oh, I can't explain it. You've it's enjoyed just, it from beginning from to beginning end. Beginning to end, just from oh, the first audition up to the choreography, everything. You loved being Kate Bush. Oh, definitely. And do you think you can go and hold your head high at the boys' brigade? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you will. I bet they're all sat at home watching you, Jacqueline. If you'd like to go and take your place, we'd really like to hear you sing again, if that's Thank OK. Yeah. Go on, Jacqueline, Thank go over you. there. <laughs> now, our audience have voted Kate Bush as tonight's winner. She'll definitely be in the final. But as I said earlier, you at home now have the power to put one runner-up from the entire series into that final. Every week at this time, we'll open the phone lines and you can vote for one of the remaining four star guests from that show. At the end of the series, whoever's got the most votes goes through to the live grand final. Will it be one of tonight's four remaining star guests? Well, here are the numbers you'll need to vote. For Sophie Ellis Bexter, call 0901 198 198 1 or text VOTE SOPHIE to 86188. 
the Karen Carpenter, call 0901 198 1982 or text Vote Karen to 86188. For the Beatles, call 0901 198 1983 or text Vote Beatles to 86188. And for Avril Lavigne, call 0901 198 1984 or text Vote Avril to 86188. Calls cost 10p, but mobiles and some networks may be a little higher. Text cost 25p plus your usual charges. And please ask the bill payers' permission. You'll find all the details on the net at itv.com slash stars in their eyes. So get dialing. All our runners up will be counting on you. OK, here's tonight's winning performance and a look at how she got from there to here. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacqueline Bell as Kate Bush. <laughs> Final and you've got it. <laughs> Do you think you can go all the way? Yes. Yes. Good stuff. <laughs> now that's the first show, and this is our first winner. But we've got eight more pop stars to find before the live grand final. But from all of us, good night. <laughs>